Greetings, Peabody again. Today's journey back into time reveals the true story behind one of the greatest events in American history. Gosh, you mean the invention of the hot dog, Mr. Peabody? Hardly, Sherman. I'm speaking of the discovery of gold in California, so you may set the way back for the year 1848. And the place? Sacramento, California, where we will meet John Sutter. Entering the way back, we were quickly flung back through time and soon found ourselves in Hot Toys, the place to go for Chinese food in Sacramento. What are we doing here, Mr. Peabody? I thought you said we were going to meet John Sutter. Oh, we are. You see, Mr. Sutter eats all of his meals here every day. That's him sitting over there behind that large bowl of lychee nut chop suey. Approaching his table, we introduced ourselves and found him really quite friendly. Nice to know you. Pull up some soy sauce and set a spell. You sure must like Chinese food, Mr. Sutter. Not me. I can't stand it. Makes me sick. Huh? Then why do you eat here every day? To get the fortune cookies. You mean to say you believe those fortunes? Sure, doesn't everybody? Hey, <laughs> say, now this here is a dandy. It says I'm going to take a long trip. So I guess I'll go to Mexico for a year or two. He can't do that, Mr. Peabody. How can he discover gold in California if he's in Mexico? Come, Sherman, we must stop him. Knowing that we could never talk Sutter out of taking the trip, we did the next best thing by signing on as drivers for the stage company. All aboard! Bye, everybody! Bye! Giddy up. Urging the horses forward, we moved out, but instead of taking a long trip, we simply raced around the block and came to a halt on the exact spot where we had started. Whoa! End of the line! Everybody out! Say, I do believe that's the shortest long trip I've ever taken. Hello again, Mr. Sutter. Hey, what are you doing down here in Mexico? Oh, this isn't Mexico. You happen to be back in Sacramento again. Oh, that's right. I did have a round-trip ticket. Do you suppose he'll go out to his new mill now so they can discover the gold? We will leave nothing to chance, Sherman. I shall suggest it to him. Quickly returning to Hop Toys, we learned that my suspicion had been correct. Yes, Mr. Sutter, just here. Read fortune cookie, then run out. Look, this must be the fortune he read. It says, you will make many new friends today. Gosh, then that means he'll... I'm afraid so, Sherman. Sutter is out making friends. Gather around, folks. From now on, all of us is going to be buddy buddies. Gee whiz, as long as he keeps reading fortune cookies, he'll never get around to discovering gold. However, as always, I had a plan. Getting Hop Toy's permission to toy with his fortune cookies. Rats of rock! Sherman and I adjourned to a back room where we spent the rest of the night loading cookies with a very special fortune. Then, early the next morning, when Mr. Sutter had finished his breakfast of shrimp fried rice... Hey, listen to this! You will make a great discovery in the creek by your new meal today. Yeah, I better get over there right away. That did it, Mr. Peabody. He's on his way at last. Hurrying off for the mill, we arrived shortly after Mr. Sutter, and coming from the direction of the creek, we heard... Yee-hoo! Yippee! Hooray! Well, we see you made the discovery, eh, Mr. Sutter? I sure did. Funny I never noticed it before. Now all I got to do is dig me some worms. Worms? I'm afraid something has gone amiss. And indeed it had, for following Sutter to the creek, he saw the discovery he had made was that the stream was full of trout. Best fishing hole I ever seen. <laughs> oh, no. I guess there's just no way to make him discover gold. But noticing a large tree just above where Sutter was fishing, I was quickly able to put another plan into action. Instructing Sherman to assist me, we hurried to the tree and chopped it down. Hey! Naturally, it formed a wonderful dam, thus stopping the flow of water and exposing the creek bed, which was covered with large gold nuggets. Darn, what rotten luck. The water's dried up and ruined the fishing. Nothing there now but a bunch of yellow rocks. What color? Yellow. Yellow, you know, like gold. Gold, yeah, like gold. Yeah, it's gold. That's what it is. I've discovered gold. Gold, gold, I've discovered gold. <laughs> cry of, I've discovered gold, reached across the nation, bringing people by the thousands to seek their fortunes. They sought the gold in many ways, by placer mining, hydraulic mining, vegetable mining. Vegetable mining? Oh, yes. Much gold was found in the numerous carrot gardens. Golly, I've never heard of that. Oh, come now, Sherman. Everybody's heard of 14 carat gold. <laughs>